One sexual assault lawsuit against Diddy ends, two new ones take its place, and this newest one, very detailed and very ugly. Diddy just got sued for by a third woman who claims that she was raped and choked by him. The woman, filing as a Jane Doe, says she and a friend met Diddy and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall at a record event in the early 90s, and the four of them ended up at Hall's apartment. She was plied with some alcohol, she claims, and was coerced into having sex with Diddy. Then she says Aaron Hall came in and they took turns raping her. And her friend. Jane Doe says a few days later, an enraged Diddy came to see her, looking for her friend, worried they might say what happened to the woman Diddy was seeing at the time. At some point, she says Diddy started choking Jane Doe to the point that she passed out. A second person who filed the day before, right? Yes, there's this law that opened up a window of opportunity for people to bring uh, old sexual assault claims. In that claim, a woman accuses Diddy of drugging her, raping her, and filming it. Diddy's people say both claims are bogus, calling them blatant cash grabs that exploit the New York law that allowed these claims decades later. Certainly a cash grab, but it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Well, it makes it think that it's more true because like he settled with cash. Right? Yeah, but that's, that's not fair. But what Courtney said is what a lot of people feel. This is sort of the perversion of this law, the giving this window of time this year, because it's impossible to prove her case. Well, that's up to judge and jury.